Good girl. <laughs> Rehab here has been just excellent. I didn't expect to have dog therapy or any animal therapy when I got here. I didn't even know it existed. But it's, it's definitely different from normal therapy. Uh, May 19th, 2015, we're, uh, my fiance and I were involved in a horrific house fire. I went back in to, to get her and we basically got trapped by the front door and uh, from, the, from the fumes and the, and the smoke or whatever, we ended up passing out and that's when we were, we were burned severely. 40% of my body, um, limit, almost limited to no function in my hands. Uh, my fiance was burned as well pretty bad. And to have animals here at the hospital with patients, it, it, it uplifts them. And I, I think they need, not, you know, they need them just like medicine. It really, really, you know, brings up their spirits. Once a person starts petting a dog, there's a chemical not only released from the human, but also from the dog that just causes a calming, peaceful feeling. And you just see them close their eyes and you always kind of wonder what they're thinking or, or what they're feeling. But you just, you just know that they've relaxed and when they're hooked up to a machine, you can actually see the numbers fall. It's really cool. A lot of our dogs hug and people think, how does a dog hug? They'll lean up again, they'll just lean into you and it, you can just tell that they are, they're making a connection with you. Dogs, the dogs that are really good therapy dogs were just born that way. And that's, that's all there is to it. Just for me, even being able to, to pet them, to feed them, you're able to bond with that animal and not have to think about what you're going through. It's just, like I said, a complete distraction. And for people who are injured and sick to be around that, you know, they should be able to take something from that.